okay guys thanks for tuning in so today i'm going to do a face of the day but before i do that i will take you through my skincare routine that has been requested and what i'm doing now is just taking a rag i wet it with warm water and pretty much first thing in the morning i just wash my face with water i'll get the rag warm again squeeze it out and do the same thing a couple times make sure my face is clean get all the crust out of my eyes and that is it clean face and i will go over then to my makeup room and put on my moisturizer before i lay down my makeup so that is all i do in the morning so my skincare routine in the morning is very very simple but at night i go through the whole cleansing process so i remove all makeup for the day even if i didn't wear makeup that day i'll just go through this process and clean my skin with a cleanser right now this is just um cetaphil and it's just the generic version of cetaphil just a mild cleanser for all skin types so I'll use that pretty much daily every once in a while especially when the weather was warmer I, my skin would produce more oil so I like this Garnier shine control cleanser it removes excess oil and mattifies the skin so if you have a problem with your skin producing oil throughout the day this is really good and then once a week I will exfoliate it's a good idea to exfoliate your skin regularly I like this one from Peter Thomas Roth. It's a gel exfoliant, really, really good. To moisturize, I use different things, but right now I'm using Neutrogena Day Moisture, and it's a day cream. It's, I mean, I'm sorry, deep moisture. And it's a day cream with the SPS of 20, and it is really, really thick and creamy. And I just like using that at night. I'll also use my Retin-A at night. When I first started using this, I was using it day and night, but now I just primarily use it at night a couple times a week. And Retin-A is just, um, it's like a chemical exfoliant. It's really good for acne prone skin, which I don't have, but it's also good for um, fine lines and wrinkles, just aging skin, which I do have. So, and this is a prescription cream. So I got that from my doctor. And then I, after I moisturize, and I just like to seal that in with an oil, avocado oil, is what I'm currently using or sometimes I'll use extra virgin olive oil so that is it so and in the morning I don't then need to cleanse it again because there's nothing on it just, I just warm rag just to wake up my skin and remove <laughs> crusties and that's it so I will go over to the my makeup room and show you my makeup application Okay, so next I'm just going to lay down an oil control lotion from MAC. I picked this up from maccosmetics.com. It's $10 for one ounce, and I really like it. I think I'm going to get the full size. Just about that much is all I use. And this just helps to keep my skin matte throughout the day. Because I like the matte look. But it's, it offers really nice moisture as well. And so next I'm just going to kind of just um, fill in my brows just a little bit. And I do that with this eyebrow pencil right here. This is a brow in um, eyeliner from Wet n Wild. It's 99 cents at the drugstore Walgreens. And I just like to, I don't know, make my eyebrows come out a little further and extend a little longer and then kind of fill them in a little bit so i'll do that off camera and i will be back okay eyebrows are all done and that just helps to make them look more manicured and then sometimes if i need to have my eyebrows waxed or arched or you know the stubbles um removed and and I do it myself. I'll do it myself with the razor or tweezer. But if I just want them to grow in a little more before it's time to do it, then I just conceal those stubbles with, um, let me show you, with a brush like this, a little flat brush like this. And I get this from like um, Target. And this is just an e.l.f. flat brush. What is it called? It's called an eyeliner brush. Where it is flat across like that. And then... 
a concealer of choice, whatever kind of concealer you want, whether it's a skin tone concealer, one that's a little lighter that'll give you like a little highlight. I like the one from NYX. This is the concealer palette and I use that color right there at the top. And as you can see, I use it quite a bit. And I just take a little bit of that concealer and just kind of go and outline underneath my eyebrow. And that just makes it look like it's freshly waxed, even though it's not. So then next, I like to conceal the dark circles underneath my eye and I have some hyperpigmentation on top of my eyelid. So I'll take a concealer and conceal my whole eye area above and below. And the concealer that I like to use for that is the MAC Waterproof Foundation. This is a foundation and a concealer. And so I just like to use it as both. So I'm going to take a little bit on my Real Technique foundation brush. Yeah, this brush doesn't have a name on it, but that's what I use it for. And I just add a few a few um dots on that, on the top of that, and I just dot it on the top and at the bottom. And then I actually remove any excess I just want a thin layer and then just blend that in. And what I'll do with the X, the rest that's on the brush, is then I'll then go and put it on all over my skin. And this way I just have a very thin layer of foundation on my face without putting a lot on there. I like wearing foundation, but just every day I'm not really going anywhere have to go to um, you know to a meeting or something like that I don't need to be glammed up or anything this is just an everyday look so just a thin layer of makeup I got my dark circles concealed and then that's it and so then next what I like to do is I like to take a skin tone eyeshadow and the one that matches me very well is called Dance the Tides by NYX and NYX is just one of those products that you can find anywhere I've seen them showing up at the grocery stores Target carries NYX I think um, Ulta and I'll just take a big fluffy brush and then I set that concealer Set it meaning I'm putting this eyeshadow on top of it so that it won't move, it won't crease, it'll just stay flat and matte and in place. But for underneath my eye, I won't set it with this. I'll show you what I set it with underneath my eye in a second. So that's it for my eyes okay so next I will put on my eyeshadow and I will set that concealer underneath my eye and just use a finishing powder all over my face after I put on my eyeshadow and just in case my eyeshadow falls out some of the flecks may fall out onto my face and I have to clean it up with a makeup wipe I like to save that step for last so this is the revealed the revealed 2 palette by Coastal Scents has to be one of my favorite fall palettes because it just has some beautiful fall colors all in one palette love this crease color it's a real rich plum color I use this a lot on my lid this rosy pink but today I think I'm just gonna go for a real neutral one of these colors right here just a neutral everyday look so I will do my eyes off camera and then I will come back Okay, you guys, so that is the finished look. And just for the sake of time, I went ahead and finished my whole face. And I'll go ahead and go over what I used. I finished my eyes with this L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. This is like my second or third one of these. I really like that. And then also the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eye Pencil. This pencil doesn't budge. It doesn't smear. It stays in 
it stays put all day I like it so I did set that concealer with the BH cosmetic pro powder and I dusted it all over my face just use it as a finishing powder my color is 255 really really like that and I could have glammed this look up by using a blush or some highlight for glow but I just did a slight contour and I used sketch by Mac and it's a real rich pretty plum color and it's actually a blush and Mac has an eyeshadow called sketch too but this is the blush and for my skin tone I think it's perfect for contouring I could have downplayed this look by wearing a nude lip which I do sometimes but I am really loving this Milani lip cream in the color embrace number zero five i picked this up from walgreens a while ago but i heard that it's not there anymore like it's hard to find so if i can locate if it's on the website or whatever i will have a link below to where you can get this if you're interested and also i'll just list out all of the products i use and where where you can potentially find them from so and i'll just put that in a blog post and i'll have the link to the blog post below so check that out if you are interested and then what else finally oh i just set my my face with the setting spray and right now I'm just using the Urban Decay D Slick oil control setting spray. It's oil free and I just a fine mist let that fall on my face and it just sets it sets my makeup in place all day. So I think that is everything you guys let me know if you have any questions again I will try to include some pictures below and I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next one.